Cool things happening today. We get this cool curve hanging out over the edge of the pool with a big aluminum plate like that. You guys have seen projects where we've done it before if you follow the channel. But today I'm gonna walk you through a little bit on how those go in. This masterpiece is going to be the coolest spa ever built in the history of mankind. Mostly because I'm going to build it and then somewhat because it's cool. This is our coping piece right here. It's gonna come out over two inches. And then I had to go along and cut like an inch out of this block the whole way. So it was a lot of cutting there, but we cut an inch down there and then our plate is gonna come right down here and the top of our plate and the top of our coping is gonna be flush. So pavers are gonna run right out across there. I have a big six inch drop that goes back and ties that plate into the, into the base to keep it stable. So she sets right on here and base goes over top of the thing, pavers lay over top of it. And when you're done, you get a rock solid aluminum plate where you can get a nice overhang over the edge of the pool. Pretty cool. So this is the plate. There's like a six inch face on here. We put we put a, like a half inch face, a vinyl decking board, a brown decking board across there to hide that ugly surface. The cap, there's three, three inches below is just for that decking board. And then there's three inches here that allows us to screen an inch of nines or setting bed across here with a two inch paver brings us flush up to here. And this, I had to cut into the block for this. So we're now lying flush here. So I put a quarter inch of mortar on the cap and the cap comes in right across here. And then after we go back here, it steps down six inches, face sets on top of all of this and that anchors that thing back into the hardscape. So that's how it works. I'm gonna use my big caddy poo and swing it in here. Ta-da! There she is. This is my coping stone. Put in some nines, bring in my pavers. Perfect. The decking board will come out across here. I'm going to move this in a little bit farther and the cap out a little bit farther so that my decking board, which is a half inch thick, will run in flush right there. And there I get a nice overhanging edge. It's gonna be eight foot deep right there so we'll be able to jump off. There's gonna be cool lights tucked in underneath there. I still need to do a bunch of base preparation back in here. There's gonna need stone packed in here and then carved away for that set on and then stone comes out over the top as well. So we're not there yet, but the initial scribing in of the plate into the block down here, that inch that I had to take off there, that worked very well. These all, that part is finished anyways. So stay tuned, there's more coming.
Howdy folks. These guys right here and this guy. This guy had the worst job today in the world. What was it, Jordan? I had to drill holes through the blocks. <laughs> was it fun? No. <laughs> was it cold? Yes, it was. Was it wet? Yes, it was. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I was dealing with uh, like blocks and you know, more or less fun stuff. Take a mm -hmm. look at what Jordan mm -hmm. was doing. So he was using this hammer drill and that hose trickling water in here and core drilling out these blocks, which are for the spa. The spa has 10 jet packs in and there are three holes a piece. So 30 holes like this need to be drilled. So these blocks are gonna go into the spa, but Jordan wasn't the only one that was plowing through it this week. We were getting a lot done, although I'm very pleased with what was done here. Um, now that those are pre-made, I'll show you where I'm gonna put them. Oh, by the way, there was also guys running paper saws for the last two days. When I say guys, I was helping with this stuff. Like I was not just sitting in the truck like Matt some does. people like Matt <laughs> or, you know, yeah. I didn't say that, that was Deej. But I was in here slaving in the trenches with the rest of the guys. Lots of cool cuts, pals of cutting. Each one of these needed scribed in. That was basically two guys all day. Deej did some very nice work here after I notched this all out for the uh, plate to set down in so the cap will come in flush. We ran a little bit short on liner so he had to seam a piece on there. Um, so he did the seam and then he worked on this aluminum plate. So that's basically set as well as a bunch of base work down here. This stone is actually gonna be inside the liner. That liner will flip back. Water level is gonna be down six inches. So water level will be about here. And then we'll just screed nines over that. That's all clean stone inside and outside of the liner. So we should be good to go. I do want to fill this thing before I do pavers because if there's any void space in there, you fill that with water, that collapses pretty quickly. Although we were very careful, although you couldn't use any heavy compaction equipment because it's inside the liner. Deej started working on this travertine cap coping. That's for the seating wall. So that's coming together. These two notches that are cut in here, swimming pool skimmers are gonna be put in the back there. So there's that happening. I spent the greater portion of the last two days um, working over here. We couldn't finish the last portion of the seating wall here on account of we can't put stone back here until this is built. This masterpiece is going to be the coolest spa ever built in the history of mankind, mostly because I'm going to build it and then somewhat because it's cool. The way we did this, we put down a real heavy felt and we put down um, insulation on the bottom and then liner and then another heavy felt and then we pour a concrete pad down here. The concrete pad is eight inches thick and the reason we had to pour a concrete pad is because this whole spa system has to move as one piece because there's an auto cover gonna go on it. And an auto cover, you get a track that goes across in here and that can't flex. So it, this whole unit needed to be one piece. There is a, a pow of stuff packed into this little thing. This is the outside wall. It's going to be two more courses higher. There is a seating wall gonna go the whole way around here. This that I'm building right now is going to be the step system that comes up here. Seating wall is gonna continue around here. Out of the seating wall, there's gonna be in suction intakes here. There's going to be lights coming out here, jets coming out here, and then just above, the, this seating wall is going to be 20 inches high, so something like that. And then in your back up here, there's gonna be all of those jet packs that Jordan was drilling. They're gonna go in like that. There's gonna be a hole here. You no, know, he had drilled those two right beside each other. There's a, uh, I'll show you the jet pack when we come to it. There's a hole here, here, and here. And those have water and air in it. Bunch of plumbing. When all of that is plumbed, and we backfill that plumbing with clean stone and we'll pull up that liner and everything, liner and rock pad and everything, and we'll spray foam all around it for insulation and then backfill along that. So it's coming along in here rather slowly because of all the little details that go in it. But it's going to be stinking awesome. This, once it gets up high enough, is gonna be the same height as the pool. So if it was at my house, I would be coming into the hot tub then I'd be jumping into the cold pool in the winter and then climbing back out and into the hot tub. 
That would be really cool. That's so cool that they're right beside each other. There's gonna be like four foot or so in between the hot tub and the pool. So that's what we got going on this week. It was super fun week. Great group of guys. We're staying up here, so we're working long days, head back, hanging out together in the evening. It's been cold, it's been challenging, but it's fun. And uh, I guess that's why we're all here. We like what we do and it's, it's been great. I cannot wait to see this thing come together. Stay tuned, there's gonna be more awesome stuff coming. Hey guys, more work happening on the swim pond project. Actually this week was pretty much entirely spa work. So we were here this whole week Today is Friday and this is what we got done. We built the entire inside seating system and the step system coming down there and then put in a bunch of jets and lights and intakes. Oh yeah, and Deej cut in the skimmer right there. There's nine of those jet bodies that get air and water coming in. There's four lights and then there's four returns just to circulate the water through the heater and i think that's it everything's going to come up over here uh i'm going to put a giant boulder here on this corner and then use that hike to hide the plumbing coming up over it's going to run over to you know all the filter and heater and chlorine and all that stuff oh well, there's also going to be an auto cover on here so this is the top course. We're getting ready to put on the auto cover track and the auto cover over here once we have backfilled. We are going to use four inch thick foam board all around this thing for insulation. So this liner gets pulled up and foam goes on the back and then backfilled on either side. So that's gonna be a bit of a tricky situation. Let me show you uh, the pool skimmers over here that DJ worked in. Lots of fancy cutting. You just cut in these blocks and cut in a cap piece like that. He cut this piece out of one of these big blocks and scribed her all in there. And he poured some concrete around the back. So that's how that works. This one needs an extension, yeah, like, like this. I think that any filters or anything go in here, do they? Uh, just a basket. Just a basket to catch like leaf debris and stuff. Yeah. And then these go back to the pump. Two, two inch lines? One. One each. Yeah. I think that's gonna be two pumps, a pump on each skimmer. Yeah. And then all the jets in here will push that water to the center and then these will draw off the surface of it of the pool to catch any floating debris. So yeah, there's a science to it. Slowly but surely, it's coming together. I'll be feeling much better about this whole thing when that whole thing is backfilled and all the foams around it the way it's supposed to be. So hopefully next week we can do that as well as put in joining material in here. I'll talk to you more on that when we get started with that. It's a sand that's rated to be in chlorine water. So we're actually gonna have since it's a product we don't work with very often, we're gonna have another crew that sells it and they're familiar with it come out and install it. So stay tuned, good stuff coming. Mm -hmm. 